Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Another great week. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna start this week off with a, a good one. <clears throat> it's actually about the hardest fight I, I think I can remember having to pick. This is such a 50-50 fight. I've gone back and forth. I've made up my mind, kind of. I will get into it in just a minute. It is Raymond Ford versus Nick Ball in what promises to be a really good fight. Like I, I, this is this is the most 50-50 fight that I can remember having to pick. This is a really good fight. Um, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Follow me all forms of social media, The Boxing Bookie. Comes out here for every single major fight. So you had to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Follow me. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner. $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. Gets you a ton of other perks. Uh, $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. We hit the lock of the week again last week. We keep hitting it. It's easy money. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, tired. Uh, it's, it's late here. It's already 12.30 my time. Uh, Patreon, link is in the description. Also, follow the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Let's get into this fight. Raymond Ford, Nick Ball. Raymond Ford is a lightning quick southpaw, boxes from the outside. He's not a big puncher. He's got a really nice jab. He doesn't like pressure or volume. You can get him to shell up. You can get him to get uncomfortable. You can make him uncomfortable. You can get him to kind of show up and not fire back and get him on the defensive where he doesn't like to like to be. <coughs> He's mobile. He's a good athlete. Pretty good counter puncher. Doesn't really like to go first. He wants to counter. He does he, he'll come forward if, if he has to. It's not what he likes to do. He definitely doesn't like to throw first. He, he wants to time you, he wants to counter you. He Wants to use his speed to capitalize on what you do. What he is is lightning fast. He's got flaws. Nick Ball has flaws. He's not perfect. Nick Ball's not perfect. What Raymond Ford does exceptionally well is he's exceptionally quick. He's really, really fast. He also doesn't have good head movement. He's not your typical defensive fighter. He's not Pernell Whitaker. Right, that, that's not him. He covers up in a high guard. He can give rounds away, which I thought he did in, in, in fights like Vasquez and stuff. This is a guy in Raymond Ford, and I'm not dumping on the guy. He's a world champion. He's a really good fighter. He lost the fight to Eddie Vasquez. That was the robbery of the year in 2022. That was on the Bam Rodriguez and. Um, Quadras card in Arizona. In 2021, he got a draw at Aaron Press. He lost that fight too. Just putting that out there. He lost that fight. He got a draw. He didn't deserve the draw. It was a three-way draw. One of the judges, Javier Martinez, had it 77-75. That's wrong. I could see a draw. He also lost on a third card, probably the best card. He came back. He destroyed Reese Belodi, decent opponent, uh, Felix Caraballo. Then he fought Eddie Vasquez and lost to Eddie Vasquez. He's come back. He's beaten a few guys, Richard Medina, San Antonio, Sakura Lucas, Jesse Magdaleno, and then he won his world title with Kamaltov. He's looked better. He was down in the Kamaltov fight in a very close fight. He rallied back. He got the knockout with just a couple seconds left. Really impressive stuff for Raymond Ford. Raymond Ford has heart. He's got a good gas tank. He gets better as the fight goes on. He wants to be on the back foot. But he's not a perfect defensive fighter. He's got predictable punch patterns. He's he's easy to time. He's e easy to he's he's easy to counter as well. You can see it's it's jab, jab, right hand, jab, jab, right hand. 
I mean, I'm sorry, jab, jab, left hand, jab, jab, left, straight left. He's easy. He's predictable. He's not a super high IQ guy, but he's a good fighter. He doesn't use the ring really, really well, given his speed. You can cut the ring off on him. What he is is very fast. He's lightning fast, and that's been enough to carry him to a world title. Through all his flaws, his speed, and his combination punching, when he does throw a combination, is blinding. He's got enough power, you just can't walk right through him, although he's not a hitter. He does his best work with Kamaltov and Eddie Vasquez in the later rounds. Good gas tank, really good gas tank. Tough guy, rugged guy, a lot of heart, lightning fast speed, good combinations when he throws in combinations. He can win rounds with his speed and his combination punching, but he can also give away rounds, which was what makes this Nick Ball fight so fascinating. Nick Ball's five foot two, I, I think. I think that's what they list him as. The man is little. Jabs his way in. He uses his jab well. But he all he stays behind a high guard, elbows in, he's tight. He doesn't move his head. And he's gonna eat a lot of shots. But he's also gonna outwork Raymond Ford. And he's gonna land shots. And he's and when he lands shots, when he lands with the right hand in particular. It looks impressive because he's coming in on it, right? Like, it, it, it catches the judge's attention. He's constantly coming forward. He's relentless. But it lunges in. And he's going to get tagged with counter shots. But he's also going to get inside. He's going to outwork him. And he's going to get Raymond Floyd to shell up. You understand what I'm saying? For every tick, this attack, right? You know what I'm saying? This is the hardest fight I've ever had to pick. Because both guys are completely wrong for each other. Both guys are going to capitalize on what the other other does wrong and each guy's strength is, is gonna put the other guy in trouble like this is such a hard fight this is a hard fight to pick like this is a this is if you want a 50 50 fight which you can't pick it's this one like this is such a well-made fight this is really i think and it's not the biggest fight it's not the best fight what it is is the hardest fight i've ever had to pick and I, I've, I've had a lot of people ask me who's gonna win and I, I kept going back and forth. Raymond Ford is excellent hand speed. He's good from the outside. Nick Ball is excellent on the inside. Eats a lot of shots getting on the inside, though. Like he, he's not a Canelo where he can just slip shots seamlessly. Mike Tyson, he just slip shots seamlessly getting on the inside and do his work. It's not him. He's the bigger puncher, although he's not a massive hitter. He can switch to both styles. He mixes up his shots a lot better than Raymond Ford does, but he eats a lot of shots. Good jab, good combination puncher, good volume. He, he's he got good volume. He can win the rounds on volume, but it's going to be tough to score. Like, this is a fight that is so close. He finishes strong as well, too. So It's not like one guy is going to fade. Both guys finish strong. Both guys do their best work in the second half of the fight. All right, you guys ready? I'm gonna make my pick. I'm I'm gonna take, and I'm I'm not saying this with a ton of confidence. On it, and I want to look at the props when they come up. Right now, Nick Ball is plus one thirty. Raymond Ford's minus one sixty. It's close, right? It's close. I'm gonna take Ball. A fifty dollar bet's gonna make me sixty five bucks. When the props come out, guys, join the Patreon. We're going to bet the over. The over is what I really like in this fight. Like I said, both guys finish strong. Both guys are excellent finishers. Both guys do their business. This fight's going to go the distance. The distance is what I really like. I'm not you. So whatever your normal bet is, only put half of that on Nick Ball. It, the odds pay a little bit. Although not great. I really don't like the odds on Raymond Ford at minus 160, right? If you put the money on, save $50 on ball, you're making $31. It's 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 risky. Like this is such a close fight. Like those aren't, you know, those are reasonable odds. I just don't think it's worth betting on Ford. I, I don't know who the judges are gonna favor. The judges seem to like Ford. 
he gets the benefit of the doubt twice now. Once in criminal fashion with Eddie Vasquez. But I can see why they like him. He looks good. He looks the part. He looks like the better fighter. But Ball is relentless and he's clean on the inside. He can pick shots off. He can he keeps his elbows in. Blocks him with his elbows, right? Stays on the phone. He's good. But he doesn't move his head. And he lunges in at times. So he's going to get tagged. And it's going to be obvious when he does get tagged. But he's the bigger puncher. And when he, do, or, or, when he does land, lunging in, the shots look like heavy shots. It's going to be a tough fight to judge. So what my advice to you is join the Patreon. Link is in the description. When they bring out the props, the over-under, we're going to take the over. We're going to take the fight to go the distance, right? These are props. They're not out yet. I wish they were, but they're not out yet. When the props are out, we're definitely going to take the over on this. I love the over on this. I'm not sure what the odds are, but that's going to be our bigger bet. We're going to put it at one times normal bet. So in this case, $100 on that. I think let's see what the odds are. Maybe we'll do more than that. Maybe we'll do less. And then we're going to put a smaller half bet on Nick Ball to win. And I think I'll bet there's going to make you 65 bucks. Guys, this is a tough fight, man. This is a really, really tough fight. So that's what I like. I, I really like the over. So if you ask me who I like in the Raymond Ford Nick Ball fight, I don't know. But I like the over. If you're looking to make money on this, I think it's going to be over. If you want to gamble a little bit, let's go, let's let's roll the dice with Nick Ball. The odds favor the odds are, are friendly to him. This is fight is just this is going to be a great fight, guys. Like, if you want to, if, if, as we get closer, if Draft Kings drops a draw, you, that's not a terrible bet. Like, that's how close this fight is, in my opinion. I really can't pick a winner. I wanted to pick Ford. Um, you guys know I've had personal issues with Ford. Like, he wanted to fight me at the uh, Bam Rodriguez Christian Gonzalez press conference when he fought Magdaleno. I don't think he's a bad fighter, and I don't think he's a bad guy. Um, and he could very well win this fight. I just think the odds favor ball, and I, I definitely want to take the over on this. Guys, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing, blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. Let's get rich together. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Buy all the money. Get you a week. It gets you asked to book you anything. It gets you a ton of perks. Free t-shirt. All that. Just $5 a month. Let me know what y'all think. Thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is May 27th. Happy Memorial Day. Or I guess not Happy Memorial Day. Wishing you a safe Memorial Day. May 27th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.